Woo, I bet that was satisfying. All right, guys, welcome back to another video with Shaman J. So this is the KYY 15.6 inch uh, portable monitor. I wanna thank the sponsors of this video uh, for sending this over. This is their latest um, monitor here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and unbox it and test it out on a couple of devices here. Before we get going though, you can see the specs here. It is a type C portable display monitor. I've reviewed a lot of monitors like this and most of them are actually pretty good. So you have type C, you have HDMI, and you actually have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on this one. It is 15.6 inches and it's an IPS display. Uh, it's 1920 by 1080p, so that's really good. So we're we'll going to crack this open here. It's got built-in speakers. I'm going to hook it up to my Chromebook, and I'll also hook it up to a phone because, you know, this is smartphone conversations. And we do a lot of different things on this channel. And we do a lot of monitors. Uh, I, you can position these monitors. These monitors are actually pretty good for positioning around your office or uh, just having it, an additional monitor uh, on hand. You never know what you'll need it for. And these are actually good for hooking to your DSLR, or your mirrorless camera, and having a bigger monitor than you normally would have. So I love, right off the rip here, I appreciate this presentation. I've opened a lot of monitors uh, and did a lot of monitor reviews and the presentation, some are good. This one's actually really good. So they in immediately have the power brick up top here and it's a female there. And let's get the next level here. And you've got screen protector. And you got the monitor itself. We'll get to that in just a second. Let's look at the rest of the contents of the box here. You got your instruction manual, obviously here. Shows you how to hook it up. Uh, and then you have uh, HDMI cable, a mini to a full size HDMI. So that's a, a positive thing. And this should be a type C. We'll need this for connection for the phone. So we'll go ahead and rip this open here. We're gonna need this type C to type C. So we'll get this all out here. So there's your type C. Then you've got a cleaning cloth here if you're gonna put on that, that uh, screen protector. And then you have your type C to type A cable right here. And we'll go ahead and put that on too. So you got your two main cables there. And we're gonna show you the monitor now. So it looks like that's all that's in this box here. So let's get to this monitor. And guys, you guys know I have a lot of monitors like this that I keep. I love being able to have these monitors on hand because they are actually very uh, good to have on hand. So right off the rip here, just looking at their monitor itself, um, I see it. Woo, I bet that was satisfying. Nice, uh, this is what I was looking for. A matte screen on here. This is good. I love having matte. I like that the stand is magnetic. So if we look on this side here, you've got the two type C's and you've got the mini HDMI port and you have the speaker right there. And you look on this side here of the monitor, you got your headphone jack and your controls here and more than likely a power button. So first thing I wanna do is I want to go ahead and grab uh, my Chromebook here. We'll get this powered up real quick and then I'll show you what it's looking like. All right, so I've got the monitor all set up here. And again, folks, I can't stress, I love that this is a matte screen on here. This is just great. When you when you have an external monitor or any monitor, you definitely want to have a matte screen on there. And they have definitely got that. It feels good. The hardware on this monitor feels solid. It has like a little chrome bezel around the edges on the inside here. It's not too heavy. It's a good size. Uh, and it definitely is a good addition to my Chromebook. So I've got my Chromebook right here. I'm just gonna plug into that Type-C on the side of my Chromebook there because this monitor can be powered by your uh, accessory that you're using with it. So you'll see the monitor turn on here. You'll see the logo start up, and this is a huge plus. That video should pop up over here, and here it is. So I was playing this video here, but I have it paused, and I want to um, show you the controls here. Uh, you can go up here, and you can go to brightness. And I'm gonna crank the brightness up a little bit here. There's a scroll wheel on the side uh, where you can really 
uh, uh, make adjustments. I'm just going to crank the brightness up to 100. Why not? There you go. And this is where I wanted to uh, check this out. And I want to go down to sharpness. I want to make it a little sharper all the way up to four. And that's where I'll leave those. Now to back out of there, there's a button on the side here. You can see there's a scroll wheel here and there's a button here. And you tap the button to go back out of the menu that you're currently in. And I think that's good. You can see here going through the image settings here, I've got it set to wide, standard, uh, and I've got DCR off. Go down here, your color temperature, you can adjust all of these, your language, um, your, your volume, uh, everything is done here. And you've got your source right now going, now showing type C, which is important. So let's back out of here and then let's start this video up here. And I really like yeah, how this I, is. I, I miss live streaming. I, I swear I stopped live streaming. What a beautiful a quality year, screen. Regularly, I guess, or more. And I had to reach out to some people who um, I could talk to in the background about, you know, getting uh, myself mm -hmm. with this newer software. I didn't know how to use any of this software. It was crazy, man. I mean, but I... So you're looking at a stream here that we did. Um, and look at the quality of this display here. This is good, folks. This is good. Um, again, I just think that if you have an external monitor, you want something that's going to be clear like this. If you look at this quality, this is really clear. It has built-in speakers. If your device does not have speakers, it has built-in speakers. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and plug up now a phone to this device, and we'll show you what that looks like as well. All right, now you can see I have one of my smartphones plugged in here. I just used that same cable. I didn't change any plugs, and I just plugged it right in. And as you can see, it mirrors the device perfectly. Now I'm watching a movie uh, or a video that I did just like this, and it looks fantastic. I mean, look at the way this monitor looks. So this is a huge plus because you can actually mirror your smartphone. So if I pause this and I go up, I'm gonna go ahead and swipe away. Here is my smartphone being mirrored. So this is a huge, huge plus that this monitor can be powered by your source. Fantastic, right? Let's close this video out. So now a special thank you again for the sponsor of the video, KYY Tech, for sending over their monitor. This is actually pretty good. This is, um, I have other monitors like this, uh, and you know, some of them are good, some of them are great, some of them are just okay. This is good quality hardware, I gotta add. Uh, and um, I like having the ports here. They're labeled obviously for you. You can see there's a speaker on this side and then there's a speaker on this side here. And you've got all the controls that you need right there. So how do I really feel about the monitor? I like it. Um, if I had to find one weak spot in this monitor, it would just be the speakers. The speakers aren't loud enough uh, for my taste so when I'm watching a movie or I'm watching a video. I would suggest you hook up an external set of speakers to whatever source you're using or hook up an external set of speakers to this, this monitor itself and then that will take over that. Controls on these monitors like this are super easy. You know, they're, they're not hard to understand and they're not hard to figure out. You just have to use the navigation button and then the back button is considered right there. That also doubles as a power button if, if for some reason it decides to shut off on you. Uh, but other than that, folks, this is uh, a definitely a win. It's under 200 bucks. I believe there's a $20, $20 code or something like that right now, too. So um, the link's going to be in the description. Uh, be sure to check this out if you need an external monitor. One really, There's a lot more positives about this monitor than some of the other monitors that I get in. Uh, one of the main things is that this has the matte film built in right on the screen. Uh, their case that they give you in this box is a soft touch matte feel case, uh, and it works really well. The stand actually works really good on this monitor when sitting it in position like this. Some of the monitors that I've gotten in the past, the, the stand is horrible. It, it, if I'm being honest, it flops down. And this one stays in position for me. I really, really like that. Can't stress it enough. So again, good solid monitor. I uh, actually can prop this up to the side here and have it as an external. Right now I use a very big uh, 30, uh, 32 inch um, Dell monitor for my second screen for having, uh, you know, if I need an extended preview of something. If I want to do an extended preview, I definitely have this monitor and several other monitors, but I like the way this one is for the for the kickstand and everything that's built in and the case that it comes in. So I appreciate you guys checking out the video. 
The link's down below. Grab this one while you can get it on sale, man. This one works with smartphones, and, and that's a rare thing, and I've tested a lot of them. And remember, you get all the accessories in the box that you're gonna need to make this work for you. You got your Type-C to Type-C, you got your HDMI to Mini, and you got your power here. But also, this can be powered by the source. So if your laptop is a good, if it's good on power, then you're good to go. Just plug this in and then plug it up, uh, plug your laptop into this monitor to power them all if you want to, if you have a Type-C charge on your, on your laptop. Other than that, folks, I appreciate you stopping by and joining me for this video. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.